once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. She showed me a room, isn't it good, Norwegian wood. She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. I sat on the rug, biding my time, drinking the wine. We talked until two, and then she said, It's time for bed. La 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 la. didn't and called off the scrip in the back And when I awoke I was alone This bird had flown So I let her fire Isn't it good in our region The Icon series by 66 Clothing each piece has been handpicked and chosen as our inspiration. So whether it's the fast two-tone of the nightclub, raucous guitar of Oasis, the blissed out sound of America, or the smooth jazz of Weller's Star Council. Clothing inspired by legends. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, <laughs> running over there. Anyway, you've got to start on our breath. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Watches Live. Um, comment your thoughts below. We are live on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Let us know any questions yep. and Andy will read them out. Well, I'll do my best. Oh, do I'll, best. I'll do my best. And shout outs and all of that, all the shout outs. So, tonight... Um, it's a Beatles special. Why is it a Beatles special? It doesn't take any brand science to work out that this shirt da, 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 is inspired by John Lennon's Get Back One in the film that's coming out, or the documentaries that are coming out shortly on uh, the Disney Channel. And uh, But we're going to talk about that more in a minute. Um, so we're going to do various Beatles things. You can see them around and you go... Um, and you might hear me sing another song, you lucky, Ooh, lucky people. Very lucky. Uh, um, I don't know about lucky. Anyway, let's just dive in with a few hellos while we're here. Uh, Pete Cole, Kevlock, Rolo, Andrew Money, uh, Paul Rutter, my mum. Yes, the 12 string. Yes, the uh, scratch plate, Kev, um, is somewhere in the loft. It fell off. I can't find it. Uh, um, I will have another look. Hello, Richard. Richard used to be in the buzz with me and we used to do some Beatles numbers. So hello, mate. Nice to see you. Uh, Jonathan bought a t-shirt from you, well happy, the well of cycling shirt, nice one, thank you. Beatles great of course, but best band in the world, The Jam. Oh, start for 10. Anyway, let's get the competition thing on the screen. Is it on screen, Lee? It is. It is. There's a competition this evening. Um, you can win one of these lovely shirts that I'm wearing. It's a really simple thing. You have to guess how many Beatles singles and EPs I actually own. and. Um, I'm not giving you any things, you can just jot your answers in below and one of you, whoever gets closest or whatever way, or um, will win one of the shirts. Yeah, Facebook comments only, so it's on Facebook, you've mm. got to be on the Facebook one. Sorry guys on YouTube, sorry guys on Instagram, but Facebook only. So get putting your answers in there. We will tell people off if they have more than about four goes. <laughs> But you are allowed a couple. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't just do one to two hundred and oh. hope you're going to get somewhere in between. So uh, um, uh, somebody straight in with two hundred and fifty. I, I'm, I'll give you a bit of a clue. It's a little less. <laughs> I'm assuming if they didn't get the exact number, would it be the closest? It's going to be the the closest. And there is a tie break if somebody Ooh. happens to get either way because we have that on modules lockdown once. Anyway, social media shout outs. There's some people entering already. Uh, um, boom, they're going that people want a t-shirt. They want a shirt, don't they? So uh, ah. um, pretty good, pretty good. Thank you guys for entering. That's fabulous. Uh, what else have we got? We've um, got what's launching this week? Um, what, where are you? Point? Right at the bottom. I'm there still. You're zooming through. Oh, no, I'm, I'm still oh, here. Oh, you've got some special moments. I've got some special moments, uh, special moments, moment things to talk about. Um, 
This weekend has been a bit uh, for a few of our friends. Um, only yesterday, Simon Wells, the author, someone I've spoke to a few times and I like, Quadrophenia bo uh, book, an author and person, he passed away. Um, so did uh, the Weekend Astro from UB40. Love early UB40. I like all UB40, mm. but I particularly love the early UB40. Uh, much respect to there. And I opened the set, uh, the program this evening with Norwegian Wood. Norwegian Wood, for a long time, was meant to be, they reckon, about Maureen Cleave. And Maureen Cleave was the lady that interviewed John about the Bigger Than The Beatles thing. You know, oh, and it caused okay. of a foray. Well, she died yesterday, bless her. Bless so her. much respect to that lovely lady um, because she was one of John's good friends. Mm. Um, anyway, we dot all our caps to those people. So I just wanted to say that because how can that's three people in such a small so, amount of time. It's, yeah. so, it's so bad, you know what I mean? I know it happens, but anyway. Um, anyway, what, we've done the competition. So Where are we what now? we're launching this week. Right, let me move this camera and get on with that. So first up, you'll see that we've got the Lennon shoe here. Yep, we have. And I don't know if you want to bring it up on a close-up. I, I do. Shall we? Opinions. Well, shall I talk about it? Or do yeah, you, we can you, talk about it. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, here we have the Lennon cord shoe. I, I think Lee's probably on a close-up now. I've got a pair on my feet. It's very similar to our Dayton, but it's sl um, what's the word I'm looking for? More plain here. Um, in a second, Lee's not yet, but Lee's going to show um, a picture of the ones where we copied them from John Lennon. Um, they're lovely and soft. I literally put mine on, and boom, we were off. You know, yeah, I was they off. Really the, are nice, yeah, they? Um, these have been fantastically brilliant for us. Good shoes. We love them. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's really intriguing. Um bottom as well isn't it really yes yeah it's deliberate this uh, rubber bottom soul, yeah. um rubber sole get it rubber sole. clp by the beatles oh <laughs> i knew that <laughs> I, I will say this, when in, uh, Rhea came for her interview, she had a few questions about 60s music and you passed I because did. you could answer them, didn't you? <laughs> I did, I'm not going to pass you, this one. <laughs> uh, it, was an, it was a moment, it was like, there's no way you could work at Mod Shoes. And you're like, so yeah, anyway, bless you. The so, pressure. The pressure, yeah, yeah God <laughs> almighty, Mr. Gobshite here. Anyway, um, anyway, so rubber sole, obviously rubber sole, but, but the point is, is the reason we did it with a rubber sole, not like a leather sole, is so you can wear them with jeans mm. and you can wear them out more often. So I don't know what camera Lee's on, but I'm assuming that one. Shall we move on to the shirt? Yes, we've got the get wrap shirt. Yeah, hold on. So the jam, we're going to do the jackpot first, are we? Yeah, well, let's just get mm -hmm. rid of that there. Hold on. Now, the jackpot is the one under here. It's a red. Such a gorgeous colour. Yeah, I think you're going to have to stay on that camera there. Let's just do that one for now. It's a plain red, all red. And we've had this for a little while, but I've been holding it back. It's got a bit of fluff on it there, bless it. Oh, uh, um, um, John wore this in the Beatles film Help, and there's a picture of him wearing it, recording, I think, paperback right of 65, 66. So it's a plain, plain red. It, Beatles, they all kind of had this kind of button arrangement. They've got pictures of Paul McCartney. Let me do that on the close-up so Lee can get that. They, the, the button arrangements, so it's like that. I've, I think they had handmade shirts, and Paul oh, McCartney, some beautiful shirts, yeah. But they've got this kind of arrangement here, See, nice, love lovely that. high collar. It's lovely. On this, it does come up slim. So um, if you want this, you need to possibly what go. What size is this one? This one's an XL, an XL but it, I won't lie, I needed a 2XL, and I'm normally an XL in these. So they, they do come up slim. Quite but thick be, as well. Yeah, I'd it's say. quite thick. It's a lovely. But, so that's the first John. But now, on to the piece de resistance on the aunts. When I'm wearing it, let's get it on the close up so you can see some of the details. Some people on the social media probably see me wearing this already. This particular one, um, let's give you the story. Last Christmas, Peter Jackson, who's the man, take this off. Peter Jackson, who's the man who's doing the new documentary mm -hmm. for um, the Beatles, he put up a video. I think it was Christmas Eve or two days before Christmas. Oh, okay. And in a, there's one section where John's just sitting there and he goes, hi everyone, now the bottles. And he's obviously the taking the mick out of something. And he's just sitting there in that shirt. And it was at that moment where I had one of those moments where I went, we are doing that shirt. It's very <laughs> it definitely stand out. Oh, it's fab, but isn't in it? In a good way. In a good way. So to get this made, 
uh, we had to go and get the material made and that's no short order that takes quite some time so even though I had the idea last Christmas it's only now that it's come to fruition if, if that's the way of putting it mm. um, it's got it's got the lovely button down let me do the close-up so Lee can are you on the close-up Lee you are now um, on the buttons there and it's a nice button on there like that and I don't know if you can see from mine, I'm wearing an XL, it's fairly baggy around there, it's, it's okay, do you know what I mean, it's, it's quite fitted enough. It's lightweight material, though, it is. isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, I've worn mine numerous times mm -hmm. now, and I'm very, very happy. Where's my oh, We've sheet? had lots of questions about these as well, so... What were the questions? I can't find my sheet, where are we? Oh, you've oh, got I've it. I've got your sheet. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it that I need to be talking about? So I must yeah. remember, because I forget, exclusive to us, made by us, quality item, heritage. Uh, what would you style it with? Oh. Now, ooh. Now I'm wearing my jeans and the rubber sole shoes, the linen shoes. Ah. Um, I think you could wear that with trousers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for definite. I, I, I'm imagining, trying to imagine the suit you'd wear it under, but you could probably, you probably ooh. could. Depends I, whether you want to go all out or you want to go. Well, that's a good point, isn't it? I mean, if, you, if you're trying to go a bit more psychedelic, a bit more Liam Gallagher, then you'd probably mix it up a bit more. Yeah, yeah no. up with a yellow suit. Oh, that would take an eye out. <laughs> that would take, oh, I can't see oh. anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, um, pretty cool. I don't, f what else do we need to say about that? I don't know that we do. There's probably going to be some questions. Let me just have a quick look. Um, the price will be on the summary at the end. It will, it will. Um, cool shoe and show. Thank you, guys. Stunning shoes. Looks ace. You had that uh, hot. Hoban, they survived. They did survive Bauhaus, um, Jed. You're quite right. There was quite a lot of room at Bauhaus, though, so I kept away. Um, I must admit, I do spend my life trying to get my feet away from other people's feet, so they don't. They, they, my shoes don't get ruined. Do you do that? Yeah, it's a conscious thing, isn't it? Like, yes. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you've got a nice, decent pair of shoes as well that you spent good money on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Uh, um, got my lot some people, happy people. Mr. Fish, we. Mr. Fish were the Beatles shirt makers at the time. I didn't know that, Paul Phillips. Uh, um, I know they had two or three. Um, that I need to talk to you about more, mate. Uh, um, what's the word? What are you saying? Graphic. What about it? We've got an inspiration graphic. Oh, right, okay. Um, stone staples. Um, will you do the shoes in small sizes? We don't at the moment. They go down to a six, Nick. Uh, we might go down some more if, if they sell we always do some more I, I won't lie about it it's that go on. I think there was a question about the color of the shoes as well will they come in a different color um we might do i think next summer we're going to do because some people have been asking about that for about the mm. daytons and other oh, colors yes. yeah. yeah i think they're more of a summer shoe definitely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, we'll do some more colors i won't lie some of this is because it's the Christmas market and it's, you know, inspired people for Christmas, yeah, you know, so, so it's sort of thing I would like to get for Christmas. What else we got here? Um, I share your pain, Andy. What well, people treading on your toes in ruining your shoes, Jed? I imagine, I heard the shirt was Ben Sherman, who knows? Joe, I don't think it was. If you look, um, John wears it in the Hey Jude recording and you look at the back, there's no um, sewn in locker loop or pleat on the back uh, so I don't think it's a Ben it. Sherman on his though I must admit he's got this on the bias on the placket and I think it might be a women's shirt I'm because I can't work out what white does up um, that's another story um, oh gosh lots of questions now <laughs> um, would it would love it if you did men's in shirts a slimmer top cover I'd buy them Nicole I don't ah. know if there's a little trick for you a really simple trick um, if you want to because I sew a bit at home if you want to get a man's shirt, because we do sell um, men's shirts to skinhead ladies, basically, um, one of the tricks is you basically dart the back there. You dart along there, two lines there, one line, one line there, one line there. It pulls it in, so effectively it does that. Oh, okay. So you'll see a lot of the ladies are not really overly cut. They just kind of dart them on mm. the back to kind of make, That's without putting point. too fine a point, accentuate bits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be very careful how I say that. Anyway, let's get to the advert, Lee, and then we're talking about something else. Thank you. 
And we're back. Hello. Um, just a little bit more commercial stuff on there. There's a lot more restock on the website. Um, we had our last delivery, a big delivery today, really basically. Big delivery today. Um, there's Big Shots, there's Tan Shelby's, which are very popular. Mm. They're beautiful. A really great alternative to yeah. the Loke. I've got a Loke, and I don't mean to be rude about them, but they are tough as old boots, the Loke mm. ones. Our Shelby's are much softer in the tan. Are they a bit more lightweight? Or? Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, the, the levers on them softer. I mean, it literally mm. takes what, four hours, five hours to break in? Really? The Lokes took two weeks. They're horrendous. Uh, um, Lee's going to put up a graphic for me. Um, and that's the inspiration. Is it up, Lee? Yep. Good man. I forgot to mention the inspiration for the John Lennon bits and pieces. On the screen at the moment, you can see John is on the right-hand side wearing the red... Um, is it on the red? On the right? It is. Wearing the red shirt, and that's where we got the inspiration for that one. Um, on the left-hand side, I think he's wearing the Lennon shoes, which is the Sergeant Pepper. No, what? No, this is McCarthy and Ringo. No, you've got the wrong one then, you want the other one. <laughs> Technical issue. John Inspiration, top left. <laughs> right, we'll start again. <laughs> We're on. So on the right-hand side, I think you've got a red shirt. Is it a red shirt this time? Yeah. Yeah, good. A red shirt of John Lennon. That's where we got the inspiration for that from. Below him, uh, to his right, left even, is the John Lennon and he's at the Sergeant Pepper press conference. And there you can see him wearing the John Lennon shoes, um, which is where we got the inspiration for them. And then right bang in the middle. If you go and watch it, I'll put a link up later on. It's a brilliant, brilliant, it's a lovely, lovely bit um, clip of them doing Get Back and then basically recording it in the studio. It's such a feel-good moment. I implore you to watch it. Even if you're not a big Beatles fan, it's such a great bit of telly. It's fantastic. Anyway, let's get back on with things we love about the Beatles. Ooh. I think that's where we are, aren't we? Or we're doing yes. social... Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 go for it. Yeah, um, so, yeah, we're going on three things that you love about the Beatles. Well, we, we love, but we, we, this is this was interesting in the office <laughs> earlier, so... Uh, um, so it's the first memory. So your first memory, what was your first memory? <laughs> um, my first memory is, everyone's going, oh, you're so young. Um, I was singing Yellow Submarine in school. So you, it, it's a lot of people's memories, if yeah, you listen to people's is, on podcasts. Yeah. So if you've got any memories of the Beatles, be putting them in the, the remarks and we'll read some of them out. So you, you first heard them... At school, yes. And was you singing it, or was it was yeah, the we're all singing it, yeah. Uh, we used to do like hymns in like assembly and stuff yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, we did the same. Yeah. It's funny how Yellow Submarine is like one of those songs that people just yeah. sing. Yeah, it wasn't like every time. No, 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 no. But it's, special occasions. Well, it's special <laughs> occasions. I mean, I must be. We we had it at our school as well. But what I loved about that, when we were talking about this earlier, mm. is Yellow Submarine. Think about that. It's 1966. Mm. The Beatles are huge and they put out a children's record yeah that's a brave or stupid move or whatever way you look at it i know I ringo songs are generally a bit mm, uh, um but yellow submarine yeah. that's a bit brave uh, um <laughs> my first memory i've talked about before but i'm going to show it again anyway is that um it's absolutely that, stunning yeah let's put it on there let's put it just on that main that main camera there this is my dad's copy. Um, my mum is probably watching, probably has gone, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This LP. And dad's playing it, and it's a Sunday, and it's my first memory. I, I, cannot, I can remember this being played and granddad watching me watching the record go around. And this is my dad's copy. I stole it years ago. And I, I, don't, I still don't think he knows I've got it. You know, he doesn't, want, he doesn't have the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might tell him I'm going to knock on his door. And it's a brilliant, and I'm, I don't know if you know the Robert Freeman picture on the back there. Um, brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. Well, anybody, I, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, the first people, um, I like Terry's cartoon, cartoon sketch. I'll oh, thank you, Pete. Yeah, he's done some good ones there. Uh, what will you be doing the Lennon Sparon? Not anytime soon. <laughs> uh, um, uh, um, Sparon, yeah, I know what he means by that. Uh, um, uh, playful songs by Ringo, they were to be fair. Music wise, you're right. Love songs, dance songs, thinking man songs, and very weird songs. You're not wrong there. <laughs> uh, um, so, your favourite Beatles song? Uh, my favourite is Yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Just makes me feel like. Right. Mm. It, it's, <laughs> it's a lovely song. It's quite a pretty song, I think. Yes, yeah, yeah, I, I tend like to a, agree. Yeah. No, you just put it on and you can just 
feel very chilled. He apparently got that in a dream, so he says. Oh, really? And yeah, and he woke yesterday. up. He, he, he has his dream songs. A few people argue that it sounds a little bit like a fox song from the 40s, but let's not get into that one. So, uh, uh, um, And there was a film, wasn't there, based on the Beatles? Yes. It came out a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Just today, that was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. A lot of people, some people sort of say, all well, that English naff stuff, but I, for what it was. Yeah, it wasn't anything like too... It wasn't Schindler's List, was it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah, it was... It's a nice feel-good film. Yeah, What's it was. Yours, then? Um, at the moment, mine's really cheesy. Uh, um, it's when I'm 64. Now, as a kid, mm. it's a bit, it's a bit of a naff sort of retro song. But now, as I'm getting older, when I hear it, you know, the, the bit will you, will you still feed me? Will you still need me when I'm 64? It's quite funny. We used to lock the door when I come in at three in the morning, mm. you know, and all those kind of things. It's quite funny. There's also a really good podcast where yeah. they break down how it was put together oh, and okay. it's so clever is it yeah I have to yeah to it. um and there's other ones the get back version in the video i'd spoke to obviously um so your most disliked song <laughs> is <laughs> going the, back going back to songs this is yellow Lions. submarine yeah hey I, I don't like it so i hate the strong but, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah not a fan sorry all oh, right uh, um yeah you're not in, um hold on here we got here we've got some other things um Music wise, love the songs. Yeah, uh, my first memory was my dad's copy of Sergeant Pepper. I made you listen to it oh, earlier, didn't yeah. I? I could learn the words as so there was a lyric sheet. Of course, there was Tracy. You're quite right. Inside it had the lyric sheet, which is um, oh, okay. and that was really a big thing for those days. That was amazing. Jason Brown, interesting few singles from my mum, including Twist and Shout EP. It's been a life pa passion ever since. It's Jason. It's down there. I'm, I'll get it out in a minute and show you. Uh, mine is Let It Be reminds me of my mother Mary. Oh, well, obviously, you know, and, and obviously Paul's mother. It was called Mary, weren't she? Um, best dressed Beatle was George, would have been a great mod. I think, yeah, there's some. I know we've done lots of Lennon ones, but uh, George, George was always neat. Mm. A very neat sort of dresser. Um, and Patty, his girlfriend, was stunning. Oh, was she? Yeah, yeah. There's, I'll, I'll show you some pictures. That you'll. There's quite a few of the girls on Instagram want to be Connie Cassidy. Uh, not Connie, Connie Cassidy <laughs> wants to be Patty Harrison and people <laughs> like that. And I mean that in the best possible way. But they have that kind of appeal. Mm, She's yeah. very, it's timeless, it's lovely. Yeah, it is. Um, nice. Favourite is Paperback Writer, Long and Winding Running Road, Don't Let Me Down. Hold on, we're having a minute. If we're going to have a Beatles minute, let me just show that. Where's this? Hold on. It's my life. In my life. In my life. My life. So, Jason. Um, Jason will be very jealous of this. This is um, a, a, these are, I think, semi bootlegs or something like that. And there's a lot of these doing the rounds now. You can get really good covers. And um, I got this one at a record fair. And um, look at that picture, superb. And it's got Don't Let Me Down. You know, it's the single, the get back. It's brilliant. It's just. This, I've got loads of these. <laughs> so Which you, you need to keep guessing. Yeah, I'll ask you point. Put the competition thing up, please, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, have you found it? Yep, we're up. So it's um, soon going to come up to the last chance to win. So. It is. Some in his far favourite, Andrew Money. Rain, Peaside, yes, yeah, brilliant. So you're right, Lennon's shirt does appear to be buttoned up the other way. Aha, he's been often looked across the universe. Uh, Rain, good shout, Kev, too many. Oh, the, ra the red and blue albums are epic from start to finish. You're quite right there. I had that Rain album, red album later on. Um, and it's got lots of rubber sole on it, um, which is very good. Long one road, hold your hand, saw us standing there. 75 second guess from Peter Cole. So uh, um, we'll keep going. Where are we? Next page. Oh, what? you didn't say your song. Oh, song I dislike. This should start a few. Uh, um, I really don't like Rocky Raccoon. <laughs> remember how that one goes. It's not, it's, it's not it's, worth it. Oh, there's something about it. It's just, when I was a kid, I liked it. it, it, it they wrote it in India mm. and it's a campfire song. Oh, okay. And it's a bit hippie and it's a bit kind of, oh, look at me, I can write a song, you know, and stuff like that. Mm. Once you've heard it more than three times, you're like, really? Oh, oh, oh. it's, it's where J John, Paul McCartney needs John to say, yeah, let's ro Rocky Raccoons, please, Paul. You know, uh, um, anyway, that'll get me I'll to play lot. that in the office tomorrow. No, you won't. On repeat. <laughs> You're not here tomorrow. You've got the oh, day no, off. I'm not. <laughs> 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 anyway, where are we getting to? Um, um, got some Beatles items. Yeah, let's just put some other Beatles things up and then we're going to go to an advert. Um, Lee, is the other Macca thing up now? It is. 
Yep, so um, just to remind you that we're doing some other Icon stuff. We have got some other Icon things in the pipeline. There was something that's meant to turn up by today, but it's stuck in customs at Stan Stansted at the moment. So we might have another one yet to come. Um, what else do I need to say? Um, on the screen you can see now the John Lennon Day Tripper, the Paul McCartney Macca, and the Ringo Star, uh, which we've done as well. All sold well, all still mm. available on the website. Beautiful t-shirts, very, very pleased with those. Um, is that time for an advert? Um, yeah, all I would say also is that we won't be restocking this side of Christmas, will we? So no, if no. you want to buy them for a gift or anything, you'd we kind of advise getting them Yeah, um, now, just, really. just to reiterate what Rhea's saying there, we're done now in terms of stuff yeah. arriving. We've got a few ladies bits and pieces to come out, but everything has now arrived. Um, bar a couple of things. Um, so if you're looking to buy something, we get it every Christmas, generally on the 1st of December, when will you be restocking this? We won't. That's it until probably March next year. So if you're gonna buy something like this for Christmas, or whatever, like the shoes and whatever, can I implore you to do it sooner than later? We offer clear pay if, you, if you're waiting for payday and all that sort of stuff. So I, I don't like disappointing people at Christmas, but anyway, that's enough sales spiel. I think we've got an advert yeah. and then we're back in. The Internationalist. This jumper is inspired by some of the amazing pieces Weller wore in the Style Council. The striking white pullover has simple but very effective black and dark green stripes. This great top, part of the Icon range by 66 Clothing. Introducing the Wilson top, inspired by Brian Wilson. You can see here him wearing it in the studio working with the Beach Boys. Notice the great high 60s collar. This great top, part of the Icon range by 66 clothing. Right, well we're back. Well, thank you for watching and quickly those that kind of adverts. It's now time for the competition. Da, 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 da. And somebody has won. Well, they've got us close. They were, it was a little bit, it was, it was quite early on as well. So no one guessed the exact number? Nobody guessed it exactly right, but they got very, very close. So, um, the closest was Nick Tans Dunaway, who's a customer of ours. He got 62. There's 65. And if you oh. give me a second, I'll show you them. <laughs> oh, uh, um, hold on, this could all go horribly wrong any minute now. Rhea, Phil, Phil, Rhea. Ah. <laughs> this could go wrong any, oh, because I put the wire around the wrong oh, way. No. So there, there are all my singles and EPs. Look at that, Blimey. that's ridiculous. It, can, I, can I just indulge me for a second as well? I've even got things like Ain't She Sweet, which is before they were famous. I've got two copies of Love Me Do even, I'm that sad, you oh, know wow. what I mean? I've got the American, I think this is the American, is that the American one? American or French. It's, there's some proper sad stuff going on in here. I, I could carry on like this, really, you're meant to be telling me to stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, Jason. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jason. Uh, uh, um, but uh, um, hold on, where's, just where's Jason? Jason said, Jason, good friend of the show, Jason. That one, that got in the charts. That sold so many EPs really? that it got in the singles charts. That's amazing, isn't it? Okay. That's a brilliant piece, yeah. Uh, um, some people did demand, demand, demand well, if you, yeah. yeah, you can drive here to Peterborough tonight if you want to uh. <laughs> go for all of them. Where are we? What are we doing? Um, so just, yeah, it was a social media check-in, but we're kind of just looking at them, aren't we? I think yep. it's a summary. It is. It is. Can you put the summary up, Lee? Oh, we didn't say, go back, we'll just go back to us, Lee, quickly. Yep. Uh, Lee, Lee's favourite is doing the, the controls this evening. Hooray to Lee, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, yeah that's, that's just going <laughs> far too far. Uh, um, Lee, um, his favourite song is In My Life, and he just wanted us to all know that. So, uh, just in case um, so, you want anyway, to know on it. to the summary. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, you. Yep. Yeah, um, so, summarise. You, 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 you want me to do what? No, no, you do it. Really? I've, I've been speaking enough. Oh, blimey, okay. Um, so, first up, get back shirt, £75. It is exclusive to us um, and it will be launching this Friday at 5pm. 
Then we have the red jackpot shirt. That will be £60 and that will also be launching on Friday. And the Lennon shoes, they are £86 and also, you guessed it, launching on Friday. Yep, I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm, I don't know what else to say really. I think we're at the end of the show. Yeah. We, um, I'd like to thank Lee and Rhea as ever for being my uh, helpful assistant and stopping me from talking complete rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. um, yeah, yeah, very good. Um, we do have um, some more launches, um, especially for the ladies. It's been a very male-centric one this week. Um, we've got two or three very exciting things very, coming. Very, very exciting. Beautiful. Lads, I don't mean to be too male sexist, but you need to be watching in the next couple of weeks. We've got some lovely guests coming. I'm going to be very careful how I put this. Um, we've got some lovely guests coming, and they're going to come and model the shoes that they're part helping us yes. do. So we're very yes. pleased with that. So. Um, Watch that, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for helping. What else do I need to do? I don't. I think um, we've got a song to get yeah, us out. Got a song. We've got a song to get us out. Have a lovely rest of the week. See you all on Friday and thank you for watching. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. You say you will love me if I have to go. You'll be thinking of So far away, then I will remember things we said today. You said you'd be mine, girl, till the end of time. These days, such a kind girl, she's so hard to find. Sunday when we're dreaming, deep in love, not alone. I'm just a lucky kind Love to hear you say that love is love And though we may be blind Love is here to say And that's enough to make you mine Girl, be the only one Love me all the time Girl, we'll go on and on Someday In love, not a lot to say Then we will remember Things we said to him Me, I'm just a lucky kind Love to hear you say That love is love And though we may be blind Love is here to stay And that's enough To make you mine, girl Be the only one Love me all the time, girl We'll go on and on Sunday when we're dreaming Deep in love, not a lot to say Then we will remember Things we said today